Good morning, Vietnam! I'm telling you, I completely. Oh, dude. You fall and you break, you got battles to take them, but you figure it out, yeah. But you fall and you break, you got changes to make now. Hi, I'm right here. I completely greasified my camera. I'm gonna eat some breakfast this morning because I want to. I'm gonna go do some physical labor today. And last night after drinking the drinking, after eating those two T-bone steaks, I was like, man, that was a lot of food. There is no room in my stomach. And then I woke up today and I was like, 227 pounds. Yeah, I lost weight. Cool, I need to go get some food. 425, I find when I go to 450, it's cooked on one side more than the other. So my friend Ricky said to take the bacon and fold it over and put it on the tray. And then I was remembering, I swear someone told me to do that last year sometime. Men just don't listen. What's our problem? Is that one slice? Five pieces of bacon, two extra, because I'll get bonus points for my wife. I'm gonna put it for 17. The thing with bonus points, however, is that they all expire at midnight. So, there we go. Someone messaged me and said, you're awesome. You're super awesome. Everything you do is awesome. Everything's awesome, except for one thing. It's like, well, I should have I should have noticed the setup. Can you please clean the dust off your fan? Yeah. This fan uh, is like 100 years old and has a tendency to attract grease and then it attracts dust. And yeah. Now that you said something, I see it. Now what am I gonna do about it? Probably nothing today. That's what it's like to be an adult. You gotta kick things down the road and you don't want to. Oh, I just remembered I have this piece of New York strip that I've had in a dry, a dry aging bag in my refrigerator since August. And uh, I think it went too far. I'm not sure I can eat this. I think I just made beef jerky. It went a little far because I was like, eh, I'm not sure about this, but it doesn't seem to be moldy or anything. Okay, what should I do with this? Anyone have any ideas besides give it to the dog? The lighting is so bad right now. The sun's barely up and it's raining, yay. Now that we've got the weather out of the way, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah. So if you notice, sometimes I eat breakfast Sometimes I eat lunch, sometimes I eat dinner. Well, I too, but we always eat dinner. But sometimes I eat, don't eat breakfast and just eat lunch. Sometimes I eat all three and it's just, I'm kind of eating how I feel. And I used to intermittent fast every single day, every single day for almost a year and a half. And my kids are screaming in the background. But I got to the point that I decided that I don't have to intermittent fast because I mean, autophagy and all these things, it just, it's not necessary for me right now. My loose skin is gone. Yeah, that, and you know, I could fast every once in a while if I wanted to. Ah, gotta stay hydrated, bro. 17 minute, folded over bacon. That's how it turned out. I mean, looks all right, not complaining. I am, however, complaining a little bit in my head because I just found out I'm gonna have to work all night. That's not conducive for like life. Get a little bit salty when I get sick on the weekends. And then people get sick after their weekends on the week, during the week. Uh, try to do everything without grumbling and complaining. All right, five pieces of bacon, five eggs, let's go. I just realized that my wife cracked all the quail eggs we had saved. I saw this and I was like, oh, okay. But then I saw this. I did realize last night that having T-bone steaks that are like three quarters of an inch thick and put them in the sous vide machine, it's pointless because by the time that you just sear it, it's done anyway. Completely pointless. All right, well, I eat breakfast and change my plans for the entire day. I think it's midnight. It feels like it's midnight. Well, it's 7.43 and I just made it home from work. and. I was able to come home briefly for lunch and then head back to work and I ate three soft boiled eggs and they were delicious and cold and insufficient. So I was just looking at my calculator. Yesterday I ate three of these. Okay, that's a little much. I mean, I was 
full at the very end, but like it get very expensive eating T-bones, three T-bones a day. But I didn't get a, my plan today was to chop up all that meat I have and make some ground meat, but I didn't. And I'm like, well, I'll just make this in a few eggs and it'll heat, hit my goal for the day. I was saying earlier, like someone commented, you're just awesome, you're super awesome. Clean your fan, but you need to clean your fan. I came home, my wife cleaned the fan. So, thank you, internet. You're good for something. Hey! What? That's me. What, that the internet's good for something? No. How does that mean? That. I'm thankful that your mom did it. No, I'm thankful that the internet is actually good for something. Like, positive peer pressure. All that negative peer pressure, positive peer pressure. It's mo better. What you don't realize is if mom said, hey, Clean the ceiling fan, guess what I would have done? Clean the ceiling fan. Eventually. Yeah. I'm telling you, that thing's been here a hundred years. It's a, yeah, it's a grease and dust magnet. All right, I think I'm gonna cook this food and then maybe just sit down and eat and uh, maybe go over some comments. I've had, I've had some comments. You know, the red face stuff, it starts getting to me. You're dying because you have a red face. Okay. You're gonna have a heart attack, because I had a heart attack. Yeah, there's a lot of different things, but we'll just go over and maybe talk about it briefly. Should be intriguing television. Stay tuned. Yeah, I was saying earlier, or sometime, all the days are gonna start running together, that these T-bones, I'm always thinking New York Strip, but there's a New York Strip and Tenderloin on that, by the way. But I'm always thinking like, scratch that. I was like, sous vide these and then I cook it and it's pointless when they're this this thin because by the time it heats up in a pan and browns the Maillard reaction it's already over so it's pointless all right this pan is smoking so I'm counting this as a pound they're a little bit over but I'm not eating the bones so Oh, I'm getting so excited. Got some crustification. Yeah. Yeah, bro. I'm just gonna cook three eggs. You don't need to see that. This is always a bit whimsical. It's like, how do I practice having manners while sitting at the table talking to the camera while having food to eat? Good question. Got all these eggs on here for my Excellent sauce. I guess I'll start off by telling a little story from a friend that came in the work today and uh, It's gonna sound like I'm like Bashing the medical system, which it's easy to do, but he was telling me a story that um, he's I think he's in his mid 70s right now But he's had asthma for a long time and he's had a couple different inhalers He was telling me that he had to get off his inhalers because well, one of them because it was giving him prostate problems. So one of the side effects was prostate problems. So he got off that inhaler and then time went by, they got him a different one and then they changed their inha his inhaler again. And then he started having problems again. Then he read, you know, the some of the list of problems with that medication again, another inhaler, prostate problems. It's like the doctors weren't even paying attention to the downsides of the medication and that's one of those things it's like if you take this medication it may cause this and this and this and this and this all the side effects then we got in a conversation about how it would stat in drugs and and if you should take them or not and the side effects of statins like some of the main ones are type 2 diabetes and alzheimer's where's the health in that this is delicious by the way I thought you should know. So I got a message. I won't pull up the name or whatever, but the guy is essentially saying, continue to eat this way and you're gonna have a heart attack. Maybe, maybe not. If you have coronary artery, artery disease, my CAC score was 122. And he essentially said, I don't want you to have a coronary event, but you're going to, because he had one and, normal, and died two times and got brought back to life because he ate carnivore and Atkins diet for 10 years. And yeah, I'm sorry about that. Like, that can't be fun. Is it the diet or not the diet? He said that he was adamant that 
LDL cholesterol was a hoax. You know, it's not real science, but then he ended up having a heart attack. Well, was it because of that or wasn't because of that? I don't know if we can know, but I asked the question, so then what do I eat? And the question wasn't answered. So what do I eat? Let me know. Oh, and then I opened my phone and it says, first message, red meat saves lives. Heart, you look awesome, heart. This one's from Mike Bader or Mick Bader. You are killing it. I am, I too am on the liquid struggle bus. So seeing you do it helps so much and you already are looking fire. Just one small request. Oh yeah. Please dust those fan blades in your kitchen a little bit, for sure. Thanks, man. You do a three with your hand just like my husband. I've never seen anyone else do it like that. Okay, I guess this will be uh, the scandal. This will be hilarious. So yeah, I did a three like this because I can't do a three like this. Look, I got the claw. I can't, did it. But it like takes, and like this hand, I can't, I can't do it. I can do three like this. I can't do through like this unless I put my hands together, then it'll like work for some reason. It's like there's too much muscle in my hands or I just got, I'm just special. You learned it here first on the Kill Me Laugh. I can't do, I can't put my fingers up. Susan Barker wrote, that sabotage is my carnivore almost every time when I eat out. Yeah, I mean, you gotta be careful going out and eating food and especially if you're like on vacation or it's a treat or a birthday or a special occasion just you got to put the time in you got to put the time in to learn the self-discipline and what your triggers are and pre-decide what you're going to do and not do and don't just be like to me it's like giving like don't give under compulsion right set aside what you're going to give if you're going to give don't just get swayed by every new information or new need that comes along. Give cheerfully and not under compulsion. And to me, this is the same thing, like be thankful for what you have and live cheerfully, but also don't do things that are just compulsive, but live a little too. Day seven of the carnivore and loving it. Crispy pork belly is on the menu for this week. Can't wait. Yeah. I. I guess pork belly is kind of bacon, but I'm just not eating pork belly right now. Other than bacon form, so weird. Ricky, I did fold it on the tray. I thought it was all right. Don't know the benefit. Nourishment reacted, hey Ellie. You and Beth look great. This is so random, but I love your kitchen floors. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you for that. And yeah, these old floors that the tiles break all the time. I mostly have them all glued back down, so that's good. All right, I'm just gonna sit here and ramble all day on day. Nine of my challenge. I'll see you tomorrow. I said this is delicious. It is.